Good day. Welcome to Strength for Today. I'm your host, Brother Walter Yancey. Thanks for joining us. We're talking about discipleship. Discipleship is following Christ in His footsteps. We said yesterday we're going to begin talking about four promises that each disciple of Christ can claim. But we're in the introduction right now. In yesterday's introduction, we talked about believing by faith the Word of God and then waiting patiently for the Lord to do that which He's got to do. There are times that we'll have to be patient and wait for Him to move before we can move. We can't get ahead of God. We don't want to get behind God. We want to be right with Him. So we've got to be patient. And if we're industrious and if we're trusting and if we're patient, we'll inherit those promises that we're going to talk about the next few days. But Second Peter chapter 1, verse 4 says, Whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises, that by these you might be partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that's in the world through lust. Folks, I'm telling you, if you wait on the Lord and you trust Him, you claim those promises, you look to Him, you'll be able to see the divine nature of God working through you. It's not you, it's Him. And you need Him. And the only way you can be there is to be right there with Him so He can reflect off of you. His light onto you over to others. And so these promises will exceed our expectations. I've already done more in my life than I ever thought I'd do as a pastor. God's done exceedingly abundantly above, and I'm looking for God to do greater things. I want to stay right next to him to get them done. These promises will be precious to us and we'll see his grace and we'll see his mercy unfold on our behalf as we stay next to him. And to see that grace and that mercy on our behalf will just absolutely drive us to want to do more for God to see him work for us. You see, when we follow him as a disciple, we will experience what's, what it's like to be like him. His divine nature will think like he thinks. We'll understand what he understands. We'll feel what he feels. We'll know what he knows. We'll love what he loves. We'll work the works he wants to do. We'll win like he wins. And boy, I like to win. And I know you do too. And we'll do right. And we'll never do wrong. And we'll know the glory of God in the end. And that's the joy of the end of the promise. That's why over the next few days we're going to talk about those four promises so we'll know what the joy of the Lord is and the glory of the Lord. Escaping the failure of lust that leads to corruption. Lust leads to corruption and corruption leads to calamity. To experience faith, though, is to find the love of God that leads to cheer and compassion. I don't know about you, but I want to be happy and I want to be compassionate. And to do that, we've got to be patient and wait on Him. Until tomorrow's broadcast, may he be your strength for today and your hope for tomorrow.